Hello there, I'm painting a little fun winter scene for beginners. It's called Snowed In Again. And if you want to paint along, these are all the colours. So let's get started. I've got my small round brush and I'm mixing up a muted brown colour. You'll just need a tiny amount of black for this. There, that will do nicely. I like to begin with the cabin. I just find it a lot easier to build up the scene around it. You can use burnt umber instead of uh, the burnt sienna if you like. Uh, it'll do just as well. Put in a wee pointed roof for the porch. You don't have to be too neat with the cabin at this stage. Just the basic shape will do for now. But it is important to have the bottom of your cabin around the middle of the board. That will give us enough room to paint in the man and his little dog who live here. Alright, so it's a cold winter's morning just before Christmas. Let's mix up a muted blue colour for the sky. I'm simply mixing some black in with yellow blue and then adding some white. I like to use a flat bristle brush when I'm painting in the sky. I just find it creates more variations in colour, more so than a flat soft brush would. That's it, just add some white as you go down the board. Now for the distant fir trees I'm mixing some cerulean blue and emerald green. There, that's about the right colour I want. Gently tap the board and use the side of your brush. For the closer fir trees now, I'm adding a little black to emerald green. And again, just gently tap in the tree shapes with the side of your brush. There you go, there's the first one done. We'll do another one here, just a little further away. Just make it a bit smaller. Let's neaten up the cabin now, and to begin with, grab some titanium white for a snowy roof. We don't need to paint the whole roof white, we'll leave some blue there for the snowy shadows. Ok, grab some more white and we'll paint a nice little snowy slope down the side of the cabin. That's a good big snow drift. So do you see what I mean when I said that you don't have to be too neat with the cabin? 
all the snow along the bottom here is tightened up nicely. We want the porch here to be a little darker than the rest of the cabin, so I've simply made up a darker mix of black and burnt sienna. So other places I'll use this darker mix will be underneath the roof above where the window will be and round at the gable end of the cabin. There we go, that's looking good. So far so good as they say. I've just had the idea to paint in this wee dormer window. You don't have to put it in, but um, I'll just put it in anyway, see what you think. Alright, time to paint in a big old chimney so we can light a nice warm fire. And for this I'm just using the dark brown mix that we used for the porch. To lighten the front of the chimney here I've added a little white to the mix. Let's paint in the cabin door now. And this is the first colour harmony. I'm using a dark green to match the surrounding fir trees. A wee dab of white. For me having colour harmonies in a painting is really important uh, to give you a sense that everything that's in the painting is related and belongs there. I'm mixing up uh, some snow shadow colour using cerulean blue and white. paint in some shadow here and that's the porch roof shaping up nicely. To add more interest I'm using two colour variations for the snow shadow in this painting. For the snow shadow on the gable end I want it to be a little darker so I've mixed up a light blue colour similar to the colour we used for the lower sky. Yellow ochre straight out of the tube. It's such a great colour for starting off the window light. For the next stage of the window light, I'm tapping in some orange with my round bristle brush, followed by cadmium yellow. I'm mixing up a light brown colour now that will illustrate all the wooden logs that make up the cabin. I'm liking this little archway here above the window. Again, you don't have to be too neat, just some indications here and there. Okay, I think I'm happy enough with that. This is emerald green with a tiny bit of black for the window frames. All you need for this is your fine liner brush and a steady hand. To create some finishing touches of window light, just mix up some white and cadmium yellow. I paint the path in now and I'm mixing up a tiny bit of black with burnt sienna then adding some white. Now that's just a wee bit too dark, I think I'll need to add some white. 
By matching the path with the colour from the cabin, we've achieved our second colour harmony. I'm going to bring the path down to probably about a quarter of the way up the board. This is so when I go to paint in the, the, the figure of the man at the end of the path, he'll be roughly around a third of the way across the board and that should be a good composition. using a dark brown here to define the path a little more I'm using my fine liner brush okay time to begin work on the foreground snow to begin with I'm gonna mute this cerulean blue color down a bit with black and then lighten the mix with white we're going to use this for the snow shadow color on the right hand side of the painting. There we go, just block it all in. And I'm using my round bristle brush for this. I'm just adding a wee bit of white to lighten it up a touch. Some darker patches here and there. Now for the snow shadow on the left hand side of the painting, I'm muting down some phthalo blue with black and adding white to lighten. Just block in the colour now and add in some white here and there again having two different colors for the snow shadow will make the painting a little just a little bit more interesting i'm going to begin to paint in snowy highlights now with healthy amounts of white, especially at the edges of the path where the man has been shoveling out the snow. That's it, just create little mounds of snow here and there. For the chimney smoke I used white and just a tiny touch of cerulean blue. And it's blown away into the distance. So I've mixed up a dark green now, the same uh, colour we used for the fir trees. And I'm using my flat bristle brush. I just tap in all sorts of wee bushes here and there.
Brush in some white underneath the bushes now. All right, I'm going to add in a couple of figures now. You can paint a snowman in if you like instead. A good place to put this would be down between the end of the path and the two bushes. So for the man's jacket, I'm mixing up a muted phthalo blue colour. And I think I'll start about here, at the end of the path. And I want them I want this posture to be slightly bent over a little because it'd be hard at work shoveling out all that snow. And this jacket is another colour harmony that matches the sky. I think I might put some snow cling into this jacket as well. There you go. Let's do another colour harmony. This time we're going to mix up some green for his trousers to match the trees and bushes. Give him a pair of welly boots now. He can't see his socks but I'm sure they're nice and woolly to keep his feet warm. For a flesh colour, I normally mix up just a, a tiny amount of burnt sienna in with white. So I've painted his hair dark brown to match the log cabin and I'm going to give him a burnt sienna flat cap and matching scarf. So this wee man opened his front door this morning and was met by a three foot wall of snow. He just couldn't believe his eyes. Dear goodness me, he said, I better go and get my shovel. This is the third time this week I've had to dig my way out. Ock well, sure it's great exercise. And his wee dog has just run out to help as well. Uh, I think he's making sure that the job runs smoothly. And would you believe it, just as they've cleared the path, it started to snow again. A real simple way to paint in snow is for the close-up snow you do large dots and for the faraway snow just smaller dots. The snow really seems to be coming on heavy here. If I was them, I'd probably call it a day and go back inside, get warmed up in front of the fire. Maybe put the kettle on, have a mince pie or two. Well, I'm just about finished here. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And until the next time, take care and thanks for watching.